we covered the methodology, ping sweep, port scan, banner grab, vulnerability research. So you ping sweep, and the reason that you ping sweep is because you're hoping to find targets that are reachable. The first thing is, what happens when your ping sweep doesn't work? Okay, so let's start with the basics. So if I go for a ping sweep of the target network, so I'm going to go for that ping sweep of the target network. Let's see if that yields anything fruitful. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the best part of the job, waiting for the scanner to complete. All right, that looks like a great network. Okay, so it looks to me like I've got 153 hosts up. Wow. That's a whole lot of computers. Any of you guys run into stuff like that? Okay. So how many of you guys ran into all 256 hosts up or no host up or one host up? Did any of you guys run into that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I got a couple of people who ran into one host up. I got a couple of people who ran into all hosts up. Hmm. Okay. So that's definitely interesting. What I'm thinking is something's messing with our traffic. We don't know. We don't really, really know what's messing with our traffic. Don't know if there's a firewall in there. Eh, it's not looking too good for the home team, right? So. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try a service sweep. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for one particular port. So I'm going to go for a banner grab, and I'm going to just look for port 22 across the whole subnet. That's all I want, port 22. Let's see if this yields anything. Okay, so this is definitely interesting. Let's see what this means. Okay. So in this case, when I did this, I got a different number of hosts up. I got a different number of hosts up. So has anybody done some Googling to tell me what's going on with that? No Google Foo? Everybody's like, no, Joe. That's why we're in class with you. Okay. So essentially what you're dealing with is... You're dealing with a network that's got a lot of latency. So your round trip time is being affected. So your scanner is like, okay, what is going on with this? Is the network just really latent? And this is, this is uh, one of those things that we do run into on some networks. You can have a slow, net, slow network link. So something is making it a little difficult to scan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing, but but let's say I scan uh, two ports, right? The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dash capital P in. Uh, let me keep it with just one port for right now. So can anybody tell me what this is doing? What's this? Assume the host is up, right? So what you're telling it is, hey, don't ping. So effectively, in this case, you're saying he's going to say this option skips the discovery stage altogether. Okay. Now, here's something that's interesting. Right there, by default, Nmap only performs... Heavy probing such as port scans, version detection, or OS detection against hosts that are found to be up. If Nmap cannot ping the target host, it won't scan the target host. If you cannot ping the target host, he won't scan the target host. So what I'm telling it this time is don't even attempt to ping. Try to query that port, try to query that port the entire time. 
So now on all 256 IPs, he's going to try to query port 22, regardless of whether he can ping the host or not. The other thing that I asked him to do is service version. So I got a whole lot of these things. Let's say that. Now look at that. This time, he says I got 256 hosts up. Okay. So let's go lab, ping sweep, dot text. Let's see. Let's see if that thing fills anytime soon. So, okay, closed, 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 closed. Closed, closed, filtered. Hmm. Some filtered, some closed. Hmm. Open. My name SSH. Ooh, interesting. Closed, closed, closed. It's open. Closed. You gotta be kidding me. Hmm. Okay, so it looks to me like I still got a whole lot of closed, 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 closed. Okay, here's something that's interesting for those ones that are closed, 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 right? There's another one running SSH. When you run into stuff that specifically says it's closed, closed and filtered are two different things. Look, when you scan somebody and you send your SIN packet, you send your SIN packet, if the port is open, you should get a SIN ACK. If the port is closed, you should get a reset pack. Okay, so you've got your traditional three-way handshake where the attacker and the target are going to send some traffic. So you're going to send some traffic from the source. You're going to say, okay, here I am. I'm on the source. I'm the attacker. I'm going to send a send packet, and that send packet will have a source IP, a destination IP, a source port and a destination port. I send that, right? The acknowledgement is set to null. That's what you're seeing on the left side. Flags is set to S. S is for SYN, short for synchronization. SYN, S-Y-N. So now, so now the target responds back. Now if the port is open, the port, it will respond back with a SYN ACK. Now, the source IP, destination IP, source port, destination port, flip. Then an acknowledgement sequence number is placed on the packet and sent back. So the initial sequence number that went from the attacker, let's say it was a one. When you sent here, you sent a one to the target. When the target replied back, he replied back with a two. And then he places his own uh, target uh, sequence number on the packet as well. Then after that, an ACK is sent, and then normal TCP-based communication happens on that port. So what should happen is host A sends a send packet. Host B replies with a send ACK. Now this should only happen if the port is open. Host A sends the synchronization packet. Host B responds with the acknowledgement of that synchronization packet. That happens if the port is open. Okay, now what happens in a port scan? In a port scan, there's a little bit more to it. In a port scan, you still have the three-way handshake. But what happens is when you do the lowercase s, capital S, 
you send your send packet. If the port is open, the target replies with a send act. Then what you send is you send a reset and you move on to the next port. Because you now know the port is open. So that's what the send packet, it was also, that's what the send scan does. It was also called a stealth scan. Because a long time ago, what would happen is you would do your port scan, and when you got your send act, see what should happen here is an act, but you send a reset. When you send a reset, the complete connection did not happen, so it often wasn't logged. So as soon as you kind of realize that, this is why it used to be called stealth scanning. This is no longer stealth, by the way. This is more like a hacker history lesson. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Here's the magic. If you scan someone, you send your SIM packet, and the port is open, the target will respond. The target will respond with a SIM act. That's when your scanner says, oh, the port's open. If you send your packet to the host and the host responds back with a reset, the port is closed. If you get a no response, that's when it says, I'm filtered. Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on here. Let's say you're looking at a connect scan. So with the connect scan, you'll see that he says, okay, I'm going to send my SIM to port 21. If I receive a reset on that port, I know that it's closed. If I send my SIM to port 80 and I get a SIM act, then I know that the port is open. Your SIM scan is no different. You're going to send your SIM packet. If you get a reset in response, you know that the port is closed. No matter what, if the port is closed, if the port is closed, what you are dealing with is you'll get a reset packet. If the port is open, you'll get a SIM act. Now, what messes us up is our scanner telling us some other stuff. Let's say, for example, we got this. Your scanner is telling you that it's filtered. That's different from closed. If it's open, I'm talking to the machine directly. If it's closed, I'm talking to the machine directly. If it says filtered, something is between me and the machine. Now a couple of things cause it to say filtered. If you ran into a firewall, when you send your packet, you get no response. Your firewall just straight drops it. So that's going to be filtered. So your scanner is saying it's filtered because it timed out getting a response coming back. Now the reason that you kept seeing that RTT bar, that round trip variable, round trip time variable, is because he sends stuff, he says, hey, I didn't get any response. He starts to move on. Later on, some responses come in, and he realizes, oh, okay, I really am getting responses, but the problem is, the suckers are just really, really slow. It's not that I'm getting no response, it's just the responses are really, really slow. So option one, if I'm filtered, I'm getting no response. So that's usually a firewall. Another option might be I'm getting an ICMP host unreachable message. This is usually when you have a screening router in front of you. So you've got a screening router in front of you and it's giving you ICMP messages letting you know the network conditions that you're dealing with. So I'm doing my scanning and then he's like, hey buddy, you got an ICMP host unreachable where you're trying to talk to. So the screening router in front of your target gives you this ICMP host unreachable message. Now what's crazy is your scanner still says, 
Another option is maybe you have a screaming router in front of you and it says ICMP port administratively prohibited. So you've got some sort of filtering device in front of your target. It tells you you're not allowed to get there. Your scanner still says filter. You've got to understand the difference between open, closed, and filtered. One of the complaints with NMAP is that NMAP doesn't really differentiate. It's open, great. It's closed, can't talk to it, right? Or you can talk to it, but you can't actually interact with it. You know, it is responding with a reset. It's just not responding with a synact. Filtered, filtered can be a whole lot of things. So if we go back and we look, we got a bunch that said filtered, but we have a bunch that say closed. So there's definitely stuff out there. There's definitely stuff out there. We just have to put our detective hat on a little bit better, don't we? Hmm.